In this video, we'll add another document in our questions collection, but this time we'll use MongoDB function insert one. We've created a small JavaScript file, insert1.js, which we can easily load uh, in our MongoDB in order to run this. We've got a try block in the JavaScript file where we are accessing the database first. Then we'll access the questions collection and using the questions collection, we'll call the insert one function. In the parameter, we'll provide the document which we want to insert. And the result of this function will be saved in the result variable, which will then be printed on the console using the printjson function. If something goes wrong during the execution of these two statements, this cache block will receive the exception and print the exception. So let's first paste the document. I've already copied a document which is of similar structure to the document which we've saved in the questions collection in an earlier video. So we've got a question with a correct answer and then a list of incorrect answers. We've got the difficulty, the type and the category of the question. So let's save this script. And in the console, we are already connected to the primary database. So we'll just say use quiz db because that's the database which we are going to use let's just examine that database again so if we try to access our questions collection we can see that we've only got a couple of documents right now so i'll just go back to the console and I've just searched to the quiz DB and now I'll just load the insert1.js file. I've given the full path of the JavaScript file and I'm just using the load function. And by doing that, I, I'm just instructing MongoDB to run this JavaScript file, which will in turn execute the insert one function and add the document. So as soon as I've executed the script, I can see that a new document has been added and an insert ID for the new document has been returned. So let's see Robo3T and examine the collection again and see if the third document has been added. And we can see that the ter third document has been added and we can see the question and the correct answer along with all the incorrect answers. So that's another way how you can insert a document in a MongoDB collection.